Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. Well, this week is our uh, lead up to the big event coming up this weekend where we're going to have uh, Extreme Networks and Burwood Consultants come in and completely change our routing. Um, they've been trying to implement OSPF routing and it's really kind of a mess. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't. You're thinking, well, OSPF should just work. We agree. Uh, but we've got a mixture of static routing here and OSPF, and our routing is on one of six switches and one firewall. Um, we need to clean it up. So they're going to come in and, and clean it up for us and uh, try to simplify our, our routing infrastructure for us a little bit. Um, so that's what's happening this weekend. It's kind of a big deal. And uh, I'll make a, gonna try to make a video on that about what's going on and, and the whole process. So stay tuned for that. This week, we're on uh, no touch on the network. So no changes, no configuration changes. Um, we want everything quiet uh, before they do any work this weekend. Um, so we've already grabbed uh, configs for them. Uh, our firewall, firewall consultant is going to do one last uh, config save on Friday uh, before the work on Saturday. Actually, the work is on Sunday coming up. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is kind of a big deal. So to that end, I need to notify our users that it's something is going on, and that's what today's this week's film is going to be about: is user notification. Um, how do we how do we notify users here? This is how we do it. We send out an email, and uh, we have a template that we've come up with. Let me share that, and uh, I'm going to write it right along with you guys as we go. So hang on, let me share my screen. Uh, actually, just let me share my email. Share. There we go. Okay, you should see my email. And normally we have a logo up here, but I don't really want to advertise that. You may already know the name of my hospital, but if you don't, I don't really want to advertise it. <laughs> um, so um, basically we've just got a few areas that we film out here, um, film fill out here. So first is we let our users know what's happening, what's going on here. So this is a network. Maintenance. Uh, when is it going to start? It's going to start. Let me check my calendar here to make sure I put this right. It's going to start on January 22nd, 2023, 9 a.m. Right, let me make sure I got the right date. Yes, Sunday is the 22nd. And it is going to end. When is it going to end? Let's see. We'll say it ends uh, 3 p.m. Because that's the maintenance window I've asked for. Um, now, here's the why. Is, we always tell them why we're doing it. Um, and I'm trying to think of a way to put it into user terms, um, removing OSPF routing and replacing with static routing. Um, so I think I'm just going to say changing internal routing mechanisms of the hospital network. Close enough. Here's here's the part they're usually concerned with, and that's why this one has the biggest section. What is the impact? So, and I have to think about that. What is the impact? So when we change routing, um, most of it is just going to be the uh, vendors uh, putting their scripts in. So the impact is supposed to be fairly short. Um, but we don't know when it's going to happen within that maintenance window. I mean, we're working from nine to three, but when will that routing change actually happen? I don't know. So 
Um, here's what I'll say. Users may notice. And inability. Nah, they're going to notice anyway. Let's just put it as a certainty. Such as, um, I don't know what they go to. Hang on, let me uh, let me pull up our intranet and see what it is that they go to. Oh shoot, now I just showed you where I work. Um, yeah, that's what we'll tell them. And I don't want to just say that it's, they're going to think that this is during the whole uh, maintenance window. I don't want them to think that. So I'm going to say sporadically throughout the maintenance window. I don't know how to spell. Thank goodness for spell check. There we go. I'm going to say users will be unable to, colon. There we go. Let's start some bullet points up, shall we? Um, do it this way. <laughs> now it wants to do it. Okay. Access. Uh, Uh, we have VoIP phones here, so I'll just tell them phones. Uh, we also have these uh, red phones that they can use that uh, are just regular old, what we call POTS phones, plain old telephone service. And they're all red, so they, they know about them. Uh, let's see what else. Vocera. I've talked about Vocera before. It's a little, well, it's one of these. This is Vocera. It's a Vocera badge. It's uh, basically another VoIP phone that's voice activated. So badges. Yeah, maybe. Briefly impacted. Wireless services. I'm hoping it's briefly. This is basically it's routing. It's the entire internal routing of the hospital. So I'm I'm trying to be gen specifically general, uh, so they they know what's infected. And all I'm going to try to do is just, um, you know, try to keep our poor help desk phone from ringing too much. Do this. Okay, what else what, what else is going to be impacted? I don't know. I'll have to think some more. Um, the last field is we have just some specific notes for the user um, on everything we've written up here. So I'm going to tell them workarounds. 
Uh, please use your downtime procedures. Every uh, unit at the hospital has downtime procedures. So it's basically falling back to paper to take notes temporarily until um, the computer systems come back up online and then they have to enter all that stuff back in. So, and then the last thing is we tell them if they have any more questions or whatever to please call the help desk, which is kind of funny because the help desk doesn't know. <laughs> um, the help desk is going to come ask me, but uh, we, we've given them plenty of notice. So really on this, they, they should have enough. Um, so do I have enough information there about everything that's going to be affected? I think so. Um, now, who do we send this to? We've got an email group. I'm not going to share our email groups either. Um, it's basically, it's called an incident command group. And it's it's a, made up of our executives and communications teams. So we always put them in the subject as the two recipient up here. Um, hey, there's my boss, beautiful boss. Um, and then what we'll do is we're going to add a BCC, which will be all the users at the hospital. So we'll go to that incident command group from, uh, I haven't got to the from yet, to the incident command group, blind copying all the other users, which means if they hit reply, it's going to go to their executive, so they won't hit reply. Um, oh, and I need to add a subject here. Maintenance. One, two. As long as I've been typing the word maintenance, I still can't spell it. Three PM. So we'll put that there. Actually, we'll let them know it's Sunday. So that'll, they're doctors and nurses, they they think different. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, the only other thing I do on this is I change who it's being sent from. So as you see, I, I generally like to use the uh, web version of Outlook. We use Outlook here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just save this as a draft and then send it from my actual Outlook client because in the Outlook client, it's far easier to change who the email is coming from. Um, I don't want it to come from me because then I'll get a bunch of, you know, somebody's going to send a reply and it's my mailbox will fill up. I don't want that. So I'm going to send it from uh, a different account, which is probably going to be from the incident command group. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what we do here when we, we have major maintenance. Uh, we have to notify users. Um, we came up with a generic form. Like I said, there's going to be a, a very beautiful logo going up in this top field. And in the bottom, we will also add the phone number for the help desk, which I'm not going to add here because I don't want you guys calling our help desk. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much it. So as I said, uh, this is a big weekend. I'm working both days. Um, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is planning. Sunday is execution. So, and then Monday is monitoring. And we're going to have uh, the extreme engineer that designed our network on site for this maintenance event because the last two to three times we've we've tried making changes, it's been a disaster, and the whole hospital has gone down and declared a code trauma. Now I know I got a couple of hospital network admins out there that are watching and they'll they'll know what a code trauma is and it's bad uh so our hospital is a, is a what are we level three level two i don't know we're a trauma center and uh so you know people we have a helicopter pad people get life flighted in all the time by helicopter uh, ambulances roll in all the time if we declare code trauma we can no longer take those people we can't take anybody into the hospital. So that's a bad thing. Um, so we don't want to have to have the hospital declare a code trauma this time. Brief outages, they can handle. 
Um, but uh, the past few maintenance events we've had that involve this level of network activity, um, the entire hospital was dead for four hours. No bueno. Um, and I feel, I'm not even, I wasn't even involved in it and I just feel terrible about it. So anyhow, we're hoping for better. We're praying for better this time. So go ahead and stop that share, put my big ugly face back here. So, um, yeah, that's what we got coming up. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to record as much of it as I can for the next video and, uh, we'll see what happens. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, Click the subscribe button and notification bell if so inclined. Give me a thumbs up if you thought all this rambling was interesting. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. God bless everybody.